Good morning guys, it's just gone 8am, it's Tuesday and I thought I would vlog this week, I've just gone up, um, I've got a whole day um, in town today on some appointments, some parties, I'm getting my skin looked at by Dr David Jack which I'm really excited about, that's my alarm. Morning. 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 <laughs> I'm vlogging this week. Why are you vlogging? Life. Mm. Life with me. Oh, my. My, your life is with me, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thought I would vlog this week just because I haven't done a vlog with me in London for ages. I've been travelling so much. I worked out this month. I have only been in my apartment in London for seven days. Now that I am back, I figured I would um, show you guys what I got up to. I've got a very busy week, as you can see. Yesterday was pretty boring, just the oven repairman and a load of desk work. So, jumping straight in on Tuesday, we've got a Soho House event to start with, but should have gotten up about an hour ago because now I'm running late. Time to get ready. As I was saying, I've not been here very much, which is actually fine because from what I've heard, the weather in London at the moment has been shocking. I went to a retreat in Ibiza, which was incredible, and I'm writing a blog on it. All retreats are incredible. And then I was back for a few days, and, and then Nate and I went over to Portugal for a surf and soul yoga retreat, which was also incredible. Learned how to surf, which is so so hard by the way got pretty solid tan and now i'm back and i'm catching up with everything hence yesterday i was gonna film but i was basically chained to my desk doing emails all day because i just flagged 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 stuff not wanting to go back with, to it until i was home but the rest of the week is looking amazing because i've got so many appointments today including an aesthetic skin appointment with dr david jack who has created this amazing product line i use his moisturizer every single day it's got citric acid in it and factor 50 spf which is awesome just in love with his products he also makes these magnesium tablets and obviously i've mentioned before i like struggle to sleep these tablets knock me out. I've been having the best sleep since I started taking them. So I'm going to meet the man himself today. I've got a few restaurant openings. Um, I've got a panel talk with Marie Claire. Also got a party with Marie Claire tonight. Just loads going on. So yeah, I've got to just put on some really quick makeup. I've been using my Trini stack so much recently because it's just so travel friendly. And I'll take it with me because my makeup will be coming off when I see the doctor. And I've got to put it all back on. So yeah, I'm just going to take that with me. And I need to pick an outfit. It's like 25 degrees today, but it looks really, really cloudy. I do have a wardrobe in my bedroom, but I have two rails in my office. And these are like new in samples or things that I've bought recently, which I know I have to try. So I don't actually put them in the main wardrobe. I leave them out here, so I'm forced to wear them and I don't forget about them. So yeah, something for a day that is 25 degrees and humid as hell but also covers a doctor's appointment a lunch a party so this is the look i've settled on i've got these new earrings from buy a nook i think they're absolutely gorgeous they've got the aries symbol on them um but they were a nightmare they kept saying that they weren't doing tracking and they sent two pairs and both got lost so i kicked up a bit of a fuss and they sent me another pair but i love these and then this is my iro top um it's from the outlet i decided recently that iro is probably my second favorite designer brand after isabel morant and this was in a haul i did recently and then i've got my white balloon jeans from top shop i've got these in black as well and i absolutely love them i think the shape is really really cool it's a little bit looser than your average like mom jeans they're a bit um, wrinkly but who the hell irons denim not me and then my belt is a vintage find from rocket in Covent Garden it's by guess and it's so so cool I love anything that has like Western cowboy influences so I'm in love with this first time wearing it as well and then I figured I would wear um, some sandals today these are my dr. Martin's sandals they're so unbelievably comfy perfect for a day walking around the city but also 25 degrees it me from dawn till dusk baby i am ready i absolutely love this jacket it's from zara and it's reversible so i can wear it black or pink but i figured pink for a pop of color so much for that 25 degree weather in london today honestly it's been raining since i left the house so i'm heading to dean street townhouse because the brand cow shed um, are having a brand makeover 
they had a promotional video that started at nine. It's now 19 minutes past nine, so <laughs> I've missed that. Get a chance to have a look at the new brand and have some breakfast as well. Probably see some people I know. Feels weird to be back. Certainly enjoying not living out of a suitcase anymore. I do love my job, so I'm happy to like get back into it. But an absolutely mad week. I've crammed it all in, but I think that's the best way to be honest. Just throw yourself back in. Oh, what? I always pick the wrong exit. So I got it wrong. The event is actually at Soho House and I don't think you're allowed to film in here. We shall see. This sometimes happens, but I genuinely don't know anybody here. Weird. I think these are all the latecomers though. Example of the new cow shed brand. They've gotten rid of all of the cool names like Moody Cow, Grumpy Cow, Tired Cow, and now it's replaced with more appropriate positive things like active and restful and all of that. I realise I have quite a bad habit of walking around Soho looking at my phone. I like rarely even look up. I know these streets so well that my feet just kind of walks me to the place I need to go. I don't even need to look. It's mad. I've not had an accident yet. Touch wood. Um, so I've just decided because I've got two hours to spare before seeing Dr. David Jack. I'm gonna head to Victoria's Secret. They've invited me down to have a look at some of their underwear and I'm hoping they've got some active wear there because I've got yoga tonight and I forgot my yoga kit. So Victoria's Secret can help me out, that would be amazing. Shit guys, my feet have subconsciously walked me to the new H&M home on Regent Street. I've been trying to avoid this place because my home is finished now and I do not need anything else, but for some reason, my feet are walking me inside. God help me all. God help me. Oh my God, I need everything. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I said to Nate the other day, I was like, can we move already? Because I want to redecorate again. They are so cool. Picasso. Shit. No, I'm walking out, I'm walking out, I'm walking out. Here we are, Victoria's Secret. I honestly do have like mixed feelings about this place. Obviously the underwear is super sexy, which I'm totally down for. Sometimes I feel like their marketing and advertising is a little bit orientated to the male gaze, you know, it's overtly sexual and maybe not as naturally feminine as I would hope. They've invited me down, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and see what they've got in store, see if I like anything. Here. I love that they've called it very sexy thong. I mean, call a spade a spade, I guess. I also like the fact that none of this collection has padded cups. I despise padded cups. Oh my god. I actually love this. It's so, so amazing. It's so pretty. Showgirl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I figured when in Rome, get something Roman, right? I'm gonna pick the most Victoria's Secret of sets, because why not, right? So this is actually stunning, and something that I would normally pick out. That's more my vibe, like vintage, antique, you know, a little bit more delicate, not as overtly sexual, but I'm trying to stay away from stuff that I would pick and pick something that I normally wouldn't. I mean, I've got to admit, it's a beautiful shop. There's security guards everywhere, but I think that's because Laomi's here, the new angel. I'm not gonna lie, this is 100% <laughs> my favorite I've tried on. I just think it's so bloody bonkers and like showgirl. Look at those star diamantes, it's great. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm having it. It's amazing. They roped me in, what can I say? 
somebody got my ear about uh, there being a new CEO of Victoria's Secret. They're trying to go in a new direction, make things more wearable, responding to more of the older woman rather than teeny bopper vibes, which I mean speaks to me. I'm an underwear junkie, so I picked out some really nice pieces. I will be putting them to the test, see if they're as wearable and comfortable as stunning as they are. And wearability for me is so important, so. Yeah, I'm gonna head down to Harley Street now to Dr. David Jack's clinic. I'm so excited to meet this man. He is the inventor of my current favorite day cream, which has an SPF, which I've been wearing non-stop during my travels. It's keeping my skin really fresh. Also, it's got citric acid in it, so it's like exfoliating at the same time. Honestly, I'm addicted. And he also makes these amazing magnesium uh, sweet dreams tablets as well, which have been helping me sleep at night. So I'm really excited to meet him. And I'm really, really excited to hear what he has to say about my skin, because I've been seeing uh, facialists and aesthetic practitioners for about five years now for peels and that sort of thing and um, I'm really just keen to hear what he has to say about my face I obviously have ideas about it but he'll probably see things that I don't which is always important like to get a second opinion if you know what I mean we do tend to be overly critical of our appearances so yeah Thank you. I'm kind of regretting not getting this one. It was so, so amazing. Look at that bralette. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Here we are, 96 Harley Street. Night. Why do you need a morning? Is that a serum? serum. So oh, it's okay. Vitamin C serum. And then there's a Love night cream. vitamin C. I'm a d any, any vitamin C. Really, yeah, so get fancy to send you that one as well. Then. And this is and retinol. Then, then the retinol, yeah. This stuff is yeah. like, so it's like nighttime crap. Like, yeah, yeah. Totally. So good. Oh, well, well done. It was so Thank nice to you. meet yeah. you. Lovely to meet you too. That was interesting. He was just a lovely guy, and I, I genuinely love his products. They are amazing beauty products. Even in today's world, in 2019, oh, aesthetic procedures are still like people are a bit mm, about them. But largely, I do think that is due to a lot of uneducation around the subject. Doing what I do, being in the industry that I'm in, I feel like it's my responsibility. It's also my passion to understand these types of procedures. They're not going away. People are getting them younger and younger and younger. I think there's so many people out there doing them. The more educated we can be on these procedures, the better. At the end of the day, it's all about you being happy. And that's honestly what I believe. This is the dream. Tuna, jalapeno, avocado. I am early for a meeting for once. Back at Soho House, waiting for the lovely Anthony from Laura Mercier. Oh my god, look how interesting. Right above Barafina in Soho, Karl Marx used to live there. That's crazy. So I just found the guys in Laura Mercier. I was at the wrong Soho House. An idiot. I was there for like 30 minutes waiting, but I was supposed to go to the one on Greek Street. Anyway, here with Anthony and Philippa, the guys from Laura Mercier. They're just showing me all the newness. This looks amazing. You guys know how much I love concealer. This sounds incredible. And also the classic translucent in glow formula. Crushed pearls in this, guys. How insane. Amazing for summer. And the S shape. Brush. What's that for? The glow, so it hugs your cheeks. Oh, for highlight. highlight. Yeah. I love. So I've literally just made it to the Bare Minerals Yoga and Sound Bath event. I'm literally in H&M. I went and bought this like a second ago because I forgot my yoga gear today. So I'm in the cheapest yoga gear you can imagine, but it's fine because I need a yoga class right now. Party. Justin's here! He's had a few wines. 
She's literally wearing what she wears on her Instagram. I love it. It's really cute. Oh, okay, not filming you. <laughs> filming these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have not a fangirl. I've got fangirls. I don't know whether my fangirl was. Clemmy, mother's daughter just walked in. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Afternoon. I'm supposed to start my vlog again in the morning, but the battery was dead and I did not put it on charge last night because when I got home, I was drunk. <laughs> did not expect to get pissed last night. Thought it was going to be like a turn up, say hello to a few clients, a few influencers, and then head to home. But no. Nate got really worried because he forgot that I was out last night and my phone died at three. So when I was walking home, I think around 10.30 at night, he's just hanging off the balcony of our flat, just like, where have you been? <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. And then he said something really mushy about how much I mean to him and not knowing where I was made him worry. I was like, oh, that's cute. We got into bed and we started like play fighting. We love wrestling. It's just something we do. His teeth smashed me on the middle of my nose and the car cartilage bit here. And I, admittedly I was drunk, so it was so much worse last night, but I was bawling my eyes out, convinced that my nose has changed shape. I really like my nose and the idea of it like breaking or changing shape makes me, like fills me with fear. There's a little bit of a bump like a dent here. Story time over. I came in last night and just dumped everything. Like I had a full day of appointments, so I literally just came in and threw it on the floor and then went to bed. So I've got a big mess this morning to go through. Also, I wish I'd known yesterday that the Marie Claire goodie bag had crisps. Not just any crisps. These are cinnamon sugar crisps. I filmed a little bit of the Bare Minerals um, event yesterday as well. They've given me all the new glow, clean glow products. I mean, how amazing is this? I've got more highlighters. I think these are like liquid ones though. A few other things. My favorite sunscreen. One of my favorite sunscreens anyway. This cooler stuff is amazing. Got my Victoria's Secret bits. I also met up with Laura Mercier who are having a rebrand. I used to do loads of makeup tutorials with these guys back in the day. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial with all this new like makeup goodness. And then, since I'm like showing you all my blogger mail, I'm just gonna show you a really, really exciting delivery. I was at the BPR agency the other day, they had a gifting suite and I saw these shoes and I tried them on and I was like, oh my God. They very kindly sent me a pair. These are the shoes. How amazing are these? How cool are these? I love them. I'll show you in the mirror. Just really, really nice. This evening, I am going to the Circolo opening party. It's a new Italian restaurant in London. They own Gloria's, which is like my favorite Italian restaurant in Shoreditch. So I'm really excited to go to their new sister restaurant. As you guys saw yesterday, I met with Dr. David Jack. I'm actually going back to see him next Friday and we're gonna put some of that plan in action. So yeah, I'm really excited about that I'm actually seeing Celine Dion in the evening. So I was like, oh, can I drink? Um, after I've had like injectables and he was like, yeah, it's fine I'm a little bit nervous, but as 31 year old woman I feel like it's time to dabble in a little bit of something. I feel like I'm in safe hands <laughs> I've just filmed this makeup look. I'm actually really happy with it. It's using all the new glow products from NARS Orgasm and Bare Minerals and a few Laura Mercier. It's Laura Mercier on the eye. I am heading to Covent Garden. Um, boots are opening a new mega store. It's been absolutely years since I did a boots haul, so I figured I'd do a drugstore makeup haul, see what's going on. It's supposed to be a really freaking good boots store. Hey guys, I've just come back to this like mega boot superstore in Covent Garden. They literally open tomorrow, um, but they're giving some bloggers a chance to go in and actually shop the store first. I forgot how much I love boots. I absolutely love boots. I'm like taking my time walking around every single aisle. Some people like going to Selfridges to do designer shopping, 
I'm like happy as a pig and shit in Boot Soup store. The pure the cosmetics and the wellness stuff, the supplements, and the shower gels, and I just, I just love it. Didn't stay out as long as I wanted to, to be honest. He hasn't heard me come in because he's playing video games. He's so embarrassed about it. face of someone who ate too much gluten and lactose last night. The Circolo restaurant opening was so good. It was basically just like Gloria but on a grander scale. The food was amazing. I need to get up and do a load of filming and then oh yeah I've got my Marie Claire panel talk. I need to prepare for this. They've sent through about a million questions and right now I'm having a mind blank because I've been drinking this week. But before I do that I'm gonna get some coffee and I'm gonna um, do some social media maintenance. Hey guys, I just had a shower, it's about 3, 20 past 3. I need to head out in approximately an hour and a half to the Marie Claire Fabled store. I've decided to dress up tonight because I really want to wear my new Al Jacobson shoes. The theme tonight is 70s disco. Woo so yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup now. I just had like a really bad reaction to a face product that came through the mail. Let me show you. It's already in the bin. I've never ever reacted from anything Biore before. It's like a blue agave and baking soda mask for combination skin. It's supposed to nourish and detox. I took an antihistamine, but my whole face went red where the mask was. And it kind of got like retexturized. But I had a few people DM me and actually say they've reacted to their products as well, their masks in the past as well. So sensitive skin people, beware of these guys. You know, I just showed you my allergic reaction. Well, it's either the antihistamines are doing an amazing job or this literally just saved me. It's like from Kiehl's. They sent it to me the other day because it's like new for them. It's called Calendula Serum Infused water cream and I don't know if you guys know about calendula but my mum used to rub it on me all the time when I was a child because it's really good for redness and like if I was sunburned or something I just put this on my skin and it just like instantly settled down amazing so I've basically just fallen back in love with my bare minerals original considering I've got an allergic reaction on my face right now my base is flawless this Laura Mercier concealer flawless fusion and then a teensy bit of the hyaluronic acid powder by By Terry underneath the eyes and around the nose just to combat shine. And I have not had a base this flawless in ages. Sorry, I'm getting so close to the camera. That's amazing! So this is the look I decided to go for. Got my pearl bag from New Look and then some old earrings that I just love so much. They're old mango. It's really cute. So yeah, ready, let's go. First time in my life, I am early for something, and I'm like the only one here. Good morning, everyone. I'm just at the train station heading into Central. I feel so good. The weather's amazing today. So, I'm gonna meet Jessica. I've literally packed the world in my bag um, because I'm out all day and then we're going for cheese and wine this evening which will be really nice. The Marie Claire panel last night was so much fun. I was sat alongside some amazing women. Mother Pucker, author, activist, a uh, dermatologist and uh, Nikki Makeup who is incredible. Obviously a worldwide famous makeup artist. We had the same shoes on too. It was so cute. Tomorrow I have to do some filming but then me and Nate are going on a really fun date to Glabbergas Presents like an interactive, a immersive theatre show and then I'm taking him for dinner. So, yeah. I'm now with Jessica! 
We've just had breakfast with Elemis. Which is a really nice treat. We love Elemis just because they're brand ambassadors, so we're just catching up on some content. We're gonna head over to the Elemis treatment rooms now. She's going for a 90 minute leg massage. Like, thank you. What even is that? So I'm gonna go to the gym while she does that, and then we're gonna be back up and then go do a few more on This one totally pied me. I texted her saying I would meet her at Liverpool Street Station before our next meeting. And what does she do? Didn't read my WhatsApp. She doesn't read her WhatsApp. She turns the notifications off, so now she never knows what's going on. I sat at Liverpool Street for 20 minutes. <laughs> Gorland's wine bar awaiting the partners. We're having a few sneaky croquettes before they get here because we're so hungry. Freddie's turned up, he's got his wedding ring on already. They're not getting married for three weeks. And he's wearing a wedding band. You need to get divorced quickly. Dinner time. Peppers, chicken wings, parma ham, all the pickles. We've got smudges. 